Hey everyone, today I am going to be doing another favorites video with you guys and today is going to be all about makeup, makeup favorites. So my top 10, I narrowed it down to 10, again same number as I did with my skincare, all time makeup favorites this entire year. I also made sure not to choose products that I showed in my mid-year favorites. I think I had shown like two makeup products in that that one and I almost included one of them but I took it out I swapped it out with something else so let's jump into this let's get started and find out what my favorite beauty products were this year we're gonna start with primer and the primer that I have that I feel like is probably my favorite out of all the primers that I have gone through this year is the Laura Geller spackle under makeup primer this one was moisturizing and it also I felt like gave a good smooth surface to apply my foundation concealer things like that on top of I don't think that it helped with creasing actually none of the primers that I have used this year I feel like have helped with creasing so that's the one downside but I do think that it helped my makeup last longer so it did everything that I would want it to do except for keep from creasing so I did really like this one unfortunately I don't think you can purchase this anymore I have not been able to find where I can get this and repurchase so if you know let me know down below if you know of where you can get this or if I'm just out of luck let me know that too <laughs> but this is my favorite primer that I have used this year next is my favorite foundation and it's actually the one that I used last so I have been using this MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 and this is in the shade NW10 and as you can tell this is like basically gone I'm scraping the edges of this I've got like less than like I don't know maybe one application left of this and that is it this one the shade matches me pretty well and also the lasting power on it is really good especially when combined with a good primer underneath and also maybe setting it with a little bit of powder not a whole lot and even putting some setting spray on afterwards just kind of really locks this in and I feel like it doesn't mess with the formula or make it break apart or anything like other foundations sometimes do. I am popping a tool in here a makeup tool and this is a, a beauty sponge and I have used to use the Real Techniques ones all the time but they did in fact change them because I was using like old ones like they were still in good condition and clean but I was going through my backups of the old ones and I loved those and then I went and repurchased some more and I didn't like them as much after that so they definitely changed them which is a real big bummer um, but I tried out this one and I really liked this when you wet it it gets a lot bigger and it just I don't know it's soft and I feel like it just somehow blends it and pushes it into the skin really nicely and gives a very smooth look after applying foundation with this product next is a highlighter and I have used this highlighter for a good portion of this year and it's probably the highlighter that I've used the most this year and you can't see a thing on this like I don't know if it's even worth showing it to you up close because everything's rubbed off of this but this is by flesh the cream highlight and it's in the color pinky I've been using this with like a flat almost like a foundation brush but a lot thinner um, and using that to apply my highlight with this and I've been loving the look of it it doesn't um, using it in that method it doesn't pick up the foundation from underneath and it just gives me a really nice beautiful glowy look that me with dry skin I don't get naturally so this helps a lot and it's like a little bit of a pinky shade which I didn't think I was going to like but I actually really love it this is the highlight that I reach for all the time and I will probably continue to reach for this quite a bit until it is gone and I think this is actually going to take me a very long time to go through because a little goes a very long way even though this is a small size product 
it'll last you a while. So I actually really like this and I do recommend it. It is a powder and I feel like I've mentioned this before because I feel like I've talked about this on my channel um, a couple of times for various reasons and this is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in uh, this is just the original one so there's no color to it it's just a white powder and I love this for setting my under eyes but I also really love this for setting all over my face I do have to use kind of a light hand when using this I don't want to go overboard but it's a pretty fine powder where like I don't feel like it is making my face look dry because again I have dry skin and I don't want my skin to look dry um, but it does set my makeup really nicely. Next is the MAC Fix Plus. If you see my recent videos, this would be no surprise to you because I have talked about this in my most repurchased video, I believe it was. And uh, yeah, love this product. I feel like this MAC Fix Plus isn't like your typical setting spray. This is more of a a spray that I put on to take away powdery look or to melt in all my makeup together or just to give my face a little more of a refreshing glow um, so that it isn't too dry. I don't think that this really makes your makeup last longer per se um, so I don't think that that's the purpose of this but for me I really enjoy this for making my skin just look better, more glowy, not dry or cakey. I just feel like this is like the perfect fixing makeup product and finishing product. So it's like a finishing spray versus a setting spray. But yeah, always have to have this. This is a holy grail, so I had to include it in here. Eyebrow pencil here from e.l.f. This is their Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. And this is like the perfect color for my brows. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's not too red toned, which is a big issue that I have. Um, I don't know, this is just perfect. The only thing is, it is, well there's not any, I can't roll it up to show you because I use this up, but it's a little bit of a thicker tip to it. It's not very precise and thin, but I find that it still works really well and it's very quick and easy for me to do my brows with this. I also like that it has a spoolie end. I have a single eyeshadow that I used up and this was like a very neutral kind of pinky creamy shade um, that I could use like all over my lids because that's kind of the shade that I go through the most. And this is from Ulta Beauty and this is in the color Petite. And I actually have another one of these. I liked it that much. It's really nice and yeah, I, I like it. I, it's, I'm not too picky when it comes to like my base shade eyeshadows, but I must have liked it enough to purchase another one. So there we go. It made it into the favorites. And I wanted to do like uh, an eyeshadow, but this is really the one that I've used the most and really kind of enjoyed the most out of everything that I've used this year. Next is an eyeliner. So this is where I was going to put in a different eyeliner, but I had realized that I had already talked about it in my mid-year favorites, which is fine. Those favorites are still 100% valid. I love those products still, but I just wanted to share something a little bit different for you and not be repeating so many times on my channel. So this is the Physician's Formula Booster, uh, what is this? Eye Booster. And this is in the shade Black. I think so it's a felt tip. It is so easy to apply. I'm not the best at applying eyeliner, but this really helps kind of make sure that I just don't screw up every time. It's a little bit of a stiffer tip, but it's longer. So for me, I feel like that is really helpful and it makes it easier for me to put on my eyeliner that way. Now, the only thing about this is this is in the shade black. I believe there is an intense black or a very black or something like that because this is not black like it's a little bit grayish almost um, so I think I want to pick up this again but in the other color so that it is like actual black um, but yeah so I really liked this this is a really good product I'm very impressed with it it's a drugstore product so relatively affordable 
definitely something I'm gonna pick up again and just really great for somebody who may be a beginner at liquid liner or maybe just just isn't the greatest at it hasn't kind of got it down yet I just feel like this makes it so much easier so I absolutely love this definitely a favorite of mine last product is a mascara now mascaras I went through a lot this year and about half of them I didn't like and the other half I really really liked so this was very hard to narrow down to I didn't want to show you just a ton of different mascaras I just I wanted to give more variety in what products I've been really enjoying so there are probably about three mascaras that line up with this but I decided to show this one because this just really impressed me like this is by Ulta so again a less expensive product it makes my lashes look really really good and surprisingly it stood the test of crying the rain things like that and it's not even a waterproof mascara so let me show what this is this is the Ulta Lash Icon Volume Mascara I think they still make this they may have changed the packaging I was not expecting that much from this and it just it performed amazing like really really good better than pretty much any mascara I've tried this year so I definitely recommend checking this out if you can find it it's a really really good product and it made it into my top number one mascara which with all the mascaras that I tried that's impressive all right so that is all of my top 10 favorite makeup products that I have used within this past year 2021 the ones that I have just been reaching for the most loving the most and want to recommend to you guys and you know they're amazing products so definitely try them out I will probably be repurchasing almost all of these at some point to add back into my collection I hope you found this helpful and if you have a favorite makeup product that you use this year let me know down below what is that product for you it can be your favorite number one product your top five let me know I'd love to hear your recommendations and maybe I'll check them out as well all right don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you all next time have a good one everyone bye